From Henry Moore at the Yorkshire Sculpture Park to Marlene Dumas at Tate Modern, 2015 is set to be a fantastic year for art and culture. Here are five shows that I think are going to be unmissable this spring. It's easy to think of Impressionism as a much-loved, uncontroversial art movement, but it was hugely unpopular when it first emerged. It does feel like some sort of weird allotment that's come inside from an estate somewhere on the outskirts of London. Because, of course, lots of people in the city do have allotments and do grow their own fruit and vegetables and things. I think Blind Light was a jumping off point for many of the works that have come later based around rooms and structures and journeys and paths through spaces. And I think it really was a point where Anthony moved further and further away from the object in a space to our bodies as the objects in the space. If you love the pop art of Klaus Oldenburg and Jeff Koons, you'll want to go to Yorkshire Sculpture Park, where monstrous rabbits, vibrant paintings and cartoon characters fill the gallery and the parkland beyond. Late Turner, painting set free here at Tate Britain, celebrates the last 15 years of the artist's life when he was at the very height of his creative powers. And it's immediately apparent as you look around at these magnificent paintings that Turner was the thrill seeker of his day. They did these very grotty, slightly shabby, not very professional performances where they would get naked, they would often paint themselves. Grayson was involved in some of those performances. There's a wonderful early photo of him with his body paint all over him and a little bell hanging off his member. Because in fact, it's a totemic object that has great sexual significance. I think when you... It does you... look like, an, like a male accoutrement. You'll want to go to Yorkshire Sculpture Park, where a very large wheelie will be like two really large wheelies. These are great artworks, magnificent, confident, perfectly resolved. But when you get up close, you suddenly see that they're riddled with tiny pinholes. These holes provide a vital clue to their making, because while we now see these pieces of coloured paper glued down and placed under glass, they weren't originally conceived like this at all. Once Matisse had cut his paper into various shapes and sizes, he got his studio assistants to arrange them in different compositions and tack them to the wall using small pins. Then he'd recut and recombine them until he felt he'd got just the right balance. It was a bit like working out the pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle. This one really makes me laugh because I think of myself in this picture. This is the middle classes, we've got the organic vegetables, I sometimes buy organic vegetables. There's a cafetiere, there's the Italian coffee pot on the stove, I've got one of those. You kind of see yourself in any one of these pictures and it makes you cringe a little bit but it also makes you laugh at yourself. Morisot's canvases are infused with an incredible depth of feeling and a subtlety rarely achieved by the other Impressionists. She deserves to be seen not only as a groundbreaking artist, but as a woman who achieved something extraordinary and whose work is as radical, tender and modern as it is beautiful. This is one of about 36 sculptures dotted through the exhibition of a Ku Klux Klan member. Now, when I first came in here, I really thought they might be actors, maybe performance artists. They are very uncanny and eerie. But there's something odd going on here because although they look like Klansmen, they've got smileys on their jackets and they're also wearing rainbow coloured socks and Birkenstock sandals and what I love about the Chapman's work is just that they wrong foot us at every turn just when things are starting to get dark and serious in fact we laugh out loud. I think he might have been satirised as a second-hand clothes dealer. I'm going to give you both points there. I'm not quite convinced that for the festival of Sukkot the fruit actually needs to be dried out. That just sounds like hocus pocus to me. Where monstrous rabbits, vibrant paintings and cartoon characters fill the gallery and the parkland beyond. 